Hi folks and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. Today I'm out here driving around in that, the 2023 Ford Bronco. Now for 2024, Jeep updated the Wrangler and essentially those updates were a response to the Bronco. So now we're gonna take a look at this Ford and try to decide what they have to do to keep up with Jeep. And hey, should the Bronco be worried about those Jeep updates? Let's jump into it right now. First of all, let's start by looking at what I have here today. So this is the Bronco Badlands with the Sasquatch package. Of course, Sasquatch means that we're getting these guys. That is a set of 35 inch Goodyear territory tires. And you'll notice something funny. It doesn't say Wrangler anywhere on that tire. Everywhere else, this is the Goodyear Wrangler territory, but Ford would never allow the word Wrangler to be printed on the side of the Bronco. So they talked to Goodyear and they built them a specific tire that doesn't say Wrangler. That is actually pretty hilarious. But yes, we do get 35s here on the Bronco. And tire size is an area where Ford forced Jeep to upgrade. The Bronco launched with the Sasquatch package and Jeep responded with the Extreme Recon package, which adds 35s to the Wrangler. Then Ford came out with the Bronco Raptor fit with 37s and Jeep responded. The 2024 Jeep Wrangler can come with 37s, although you have to get an aftermarket kit from AEV. Now Jeep teamed up with that company. So when you order this, you get it through your dealer and Jeep will ship your Wrangler directly to AEV and then to your dealership. So essentially it is a factory installed package, but yes, you can now get 37s on the Wrangler. And I think we have Ford to thank for that. When it comes to powertrains, the Jeep Wrangler still has more options than the Bronco. And I only say that because of course the Wrangler, you can get it as a plug-in hybrid, or you can still get that monstrous V8 in the Wrangler 392 plus the naturally aspirated V6 and the two liter turbo. Here at Ford, you're turbocharged across the lineup, whether you're getting a small turbocharged four cylinder or a larger turbocharged V6. Now again, the Bronco Raptor, well, that thing is no slouch with the turbo six in it. But just remember, if you still want eight cylinders, you're going to have to go to Jeep to get that in this category. Now, of course, Ford put the V8 in the Raptor R, so it'd be cool if that arrived to the Bronco, but so far they have not announced that. So this Bronco Badlands would compete with the Wrangler Rubicon. And when it comes to the actual gear on here for off-roading, it looks just as good. You're getting excellent recovery points, a nice steel bumper up here on the front, a nice skid plate package down underneath, unique suspension. You can see the shocks there. And up front, this is one of the biggest differences between this Bronco and a Jeep Wrangler, independent front suspension. Yes, the Wrangler still has solid axles. Now, what does that truly mean? Well, in hardcore off-road situations, you want solid axles because you want one tire to be actually up in the air, pressing down on the other tire. You want those to be connected with IFS, you don't get that. However, what do you get with IFS, independent front suspension? A much better on-road drive, a vehicle that is nice to drive down the road. It wants to go straight, it tracks straight, and that's what Ford has done here. They looked at the Wrangler and they said, you know what? People who drive these vehicles mostly drive them on road as much as they need to be off-road ready, let's be honest. So they did not go with solid axles. And that's a decision I agree with because there's no doubt in my mind that the Wrangler is a much trickier vehicle to drive, a much more fatiguing vehicle to drive. And if you're just taking this thing to the mall Monday to Friday, the Bronco is a much better choice, mainly because of the way it handles and the way it just wants to track straight going down the road. So yes, in the daily drivability category, I'm giving that award to the Bronco for sure. And the 2024 Jeep Wrangler is one of the best driving Wranglers ever, but I would still say the Bronco, it's just easier to drive when you simply wanna cruise down the highway. Now on our Bronco here, you can see we have the soft top today. And when we're talking about the roof options on both of these things, the Wrangler actually has a couple more because Bronco, all you have is soft top and hard top. 
Jeep, they have that power one-touch sky roof. So that's a big question I have, is when they update the Bronco, will they come out with another roof option that's similar to what Jeep has? Because all you have to do with that thing, as the name suggests, touch one button and it opens right up. Another thing I'm surprised at here on the Bronco is that in the back, this plexiglass or plastic window it doesn't open up. On every Wrangler soft top I've ever seen, this usually has a zipper so you can open it up and access it, which just means that the access here is pretty small. All you have to do, all you can do is duck under there. And if you have things that are a little bit tall, well, you can't use them. And yes, my kids have been in the Bronco. There's my daughter's doll and a little balloon over there. So <laughs> there's always uh, toys everywhere when you have little ones. So roof updates would be nice from Ford but I will actually show you one thing that the Ford had that forced Jeep to respond. And it's right up over here, printed on that pillar. If you can't read it clearly, it says airbag. Yes, rear side curtain airbags here in the Bronco. And guess what, for 2024, the Jeep Wrangler now has rear side curtain airbags. So that is something that Ford did that forced Jeep to respond because Jeep realized safety in these things is a big deal and if we don't offer that and Ford has it, we're gonna lose customers, especially customers with families, with kids in the back. It's important to have that safety. So that's one area where Ford showed up and said, hey, side curtain airbags are a thing and Jeep said, okay, we'll have them now too. And there's another area where that happened with the large touchscreen, Ford showed up with this large size touchscreen. And then guess what? For 2024, Jeep upgraded its touchscreen as well. Let's look at some of the features inside of this touchscreen right now. So I do like the way Ford splits up the information, a bigger screen here, and then the smaller panels over here. You can cycle through different info. Probably my favorite, of course, are the off-road screen. So that's off-road status. Shows you what's locked and what's in four-wheel drive. And then there's your pitch and roll screen showing you what kind of angles that you're on. Now Jeep has all of that stuff. And then of course up here we have a digital cluster as well. And that's also gonna show you tons of information, including your off-road information. And again, Ford basically copied the Jeep when it comes to all this info. Jeep had off-road pages. Ford doesn't have a name for all this stuff, but they do offer it. But now there's one area where I think Ford is going to have to catch up, and that is inside of Jeep's new adventure pages. So Jeep will now actually, in the infotainment system, be able to tell you where the trails are, how to access the trails, and information on the trails. So that is a pretty cool system, and I do wonder if Ford won't come out with its own version of off-road pages. Now finally sitting inside here, we can see all the different off-road goodies up here. Most of them the Wrangler has, disconnectable front sway bar, a front locker, a rear locker. But this is something that's still unique to Ford. That is trail turn assist. You hit that button and the Ford will actually lock up the inside rear tire to help you rotate around corners off-road. It is a really fun feature. And again, that is unique to the Bronco. Jeep has not gone ahead and tried to do something to copy trail turn assist. And it'll be interesting to see in the future if Jeep does something on the Wrangler to keep up. So there you go. Overall, you heard a couple areas where Ford maybe should catch up to the Wrangler. Things like different roof options, possibly a V8 engine option, and then maybe some new things in the infotainment system. But yes, if you look at the 2024 Wrangler updates, they were all in response to the Bronco. So this is such a fun segment to watch because Jeep and Ford just keep going back and forth. Hey, we can do big tires. Well, we can do bigger tires. We can do 400 horsepower. Well, we can do more. And uh, the list goes on and on. So again, these are such fun vehicles to watch because really the two brands just keep firing back at each other. And we as the customers end up winning because we get incredible off-road vehicles from the factory with all kind of awesome technology on them and great hardware as well. So that's it for this one, folks. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this Ford Bronco, what Ford has to do to make sure the Bronco stays relevant and stays updated next to that 2024 Jeep Wrangler. As always, while you're down below, 
Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of Truck King, and then come right back here to the channel to see what we're testing next. See ya. Thank you.